Have you ever wished that you could blend seamlessly together your homeschool science and your homeschool history curriculum? Today I'm going to be showing you a little bit about Berean Builder's Science Through History curriculum created by Dr. Jay Weil. It, this is an engaging faith-based science curriculum that fits perfectly alongside your family's history curriculum. I'll share how it works, why we love it, and what makes it different from other science programs. Before I get into explaining more about this curriculum, let me introduce myself. My name is Amy Sloan. I'm a second generation homeschooling mom of five. Uh, my oldest actually graduated from our homeschool a couple years ago and is now an electrical engineering major. My second child is graduating from our homeschool this spring, will go on currently plans to study accounting, and then I have another high schooler, middle schooler, and elementary schooler at home. I write at humilityanddoxology.com, and I'm the host of the Homeschool Conversations with Humility and Doxology podcast. I love to share book lists and resources for textbook free learning and so it's no surprise that I'm a pretty big fan of the Berean Builders Science Through History curriculum because it's the perfect combination of science and history and finding the connections between things and learning about real people and not just lists of facts. One of the things that makes Berean Builders so unique is it focuses on a chronological approach to elementary and middle school science. Rather than teaching isolated science topics like everything about biology or everything about physical science, this curriculum explores how scientific discoveries have grown and developed through time. Because of this, it is perfect to join right alongside what you're already studying in history, whether you take a classical approach, Charlotte Mason, unit study approach, you can easily interweave Berean Builders right into your family's homeschool studies. It's also extremely multi-age friendly. Uh, as a mom of five, I'm always looking for efficiency in our homeschool day. And I've actually been able to combine my fourth grader and my seventh grader this year using uh, this first book in the Science Through History series. This is Science in the Ancient World. Our family is studying ancient history this year. And so this has been a perfect accompaniment to our history studies. One of the things I have actually appreciated about Dr. Wiles writing since my own years as a homeschooled student myself is that he's able to take these big complex science topics and he can communicate them in an engaging narrative style format. Even if your child isn't super excited about science, I think they're going to find something that interests them. Maybe it will be some of the crazy ideas of the ancient scientists, um, or maybe it will be seeing how things developed over time, seeing how something they're learning about in a different subject applies to something in science. Uh, because it is so simply written, it is easy for any child, whether a science kid or not, to find something that they can connect with in these books. I also really appreciate that it's written from a foundationally Christian worldview. You may have heard my previous interview with Dr. Weil on the Homeschool Conversations podcast. I'll put that link down below. You can watch the video here on YouTube or find the episode in your podcast player. But to hear Dr. Weil's love of the Lord and seeing how his faith and his love of science aren't in conflict, and that certainly comes through in the way he writes his books. So the science through history curriculum specifically for our family this year studying the ancient world has really made science engaging and interesting. We've been able to find meaningful connections with things that we're studying in our literature and in our history alongside the things that Isaac and Grace are learning in their science. I also really appreciated that there is an audiobook option to make it more accessible, maybe for children who are slower readers or who want to be able to read with their ears while also reading with their eyes. I just love that there is that accessibility option, and that may be something you want to look into as well. 
I have used the audiobook some with my youngest son, but actually what's been really sweet is to see older sister and younger brother coming together, sitting on the sofa, flipping up to this week's, you know, lesson and chapter, and Grace will read it out loud, they'll discuss it, and then do the science experiments together. Okay, so let me kind of open this up and show you a little bit how the curriculum is laid out. Before you even get to the chapters themselves, there's several pages that lay out all of the supplies you'll need for each lesson, which as every homeschool mom knows, will help your life be a lot easier because there's nothing worse than getting to a lesson and being like, oh no, we don't have a pineapple or whatever it is, right? So if you are a planner, you like to think ahead, you can use this front section of the book just for yourself to plan your homeschool year so much more simply. The lessons are arranged chronologically, obviously, because it's, it's a science through history. And so each separate little mini section is, I believe, about 15 lessons that are specifically related to that time period. So science in the ancient world will have science before Christ part one and part two. This comes from like ancient Greece, Pythagoras, Democritus, all the way up through um, Archimedes and Hipparchus. Uh, we then go to science soon after Christ, where you're going to see some things from ancient Rome, uh, and then early Middle Ages, late Middle Ages, and early Renaissance, all the way up to Leonardo da Vinci. So these are 90 lessons in six sections, easily broken up, easy to figure out which lessons will coordinate best with your homeschool studies this year. I love that the lessons include short biographical sketches about some of the famous uh, scientists and natural philosophers of history. Um, it makes it feel more personal. These aren't just ideas that are in a vacuum. These are people, often people who are interacting with other people from the past or their contemporaries. So you're really teaching your children not just the scientific topic itself, but your children are going to start seeing that science is a growth process. Sometimes scientists have been wrong, but sometimes even where they've been wrong, it's been a part of the journey of scientific discovery. And I think that rather than just something neatly tied up with a bow of what we now accept as truth, I think it's helpful to really see this development. It teaches our children to be humble and curious as they study science um, and to also appreciate what we can learn even if we don't agree with someone 100%. So after the lesson is over, uh, just about every lesson comes with a very simple hands-on project, experiment, demonstration that can be done. What I love about this is my kids are actually able to do almost all of these completely independently. I'm support staff, but I really love watching them explore and figure it out on their own. So I provide the materials and they're able to follow the directions and um, demonstrate or experiment with something they learned about in the lesson. These are easy uh, experiments. They, most of them are gonna be with things you already have in your home. Any extra supplies you'll need, like I said, are going to be listed in the front of the book. And they're very inexpensive things, easily accessible at your local grocery store or big box store. Another thing I, I love is after you're finished reading the lesson and you know doing the experiment here, you're going to end up with discussion questions. And the lesson review, there is no workbook associated with this curriculum. You can have your children do notebooking if that's something you want, or they could create a science journal and record the things that they've learned. But it's really designed to be so simple and accessible uh, to any age and to multiple ages. And so at the end, you're going to have just some lesson review questions. They're broken up by youngest students, older students, and oldest students, which is perfect for multi-age, multi-grade uh, collaboration. And so it just facilitates you as the mom being able to read the questions, facilitate discussions, essentially letting your children have the opportunity to tell you what they know. Now, if you want a little bit more help with that, there is a secondary resource available. 
Berean Builders also has this helps and hints book that you can get. I will tell you, I have it and haven't used it. It's been totally doable for me to just use the questions in the book. Just ask my children even just some independent questions like tell me about what you learned in your lesson today. And that has been sufficient for us at the ages where they are. I really feel like that is totally enough. But if you need or want something a little more, uh, the Helps and Hints book will give you uh, like an answer key to some of the discussion questions at the beginning, um, a few follow-up, further details, and then there actually are tests available in the back here if you want to have some sort of measurable test or if you need that for your state laws. Um, this is available as well. And I think especially if you were doing this um, with younger students and older students, Having the test as something you could administer to your oldest students uh, would be a way to extra give some extra challenge to them, even as you collaborated with um, a curriculum that is uh, generally designed for elementary students. So the first several books in the Science Through History series are designed for elementary. And then there is Science in the Atomic Age, I believe, that is more for junior high. And then Berean Builders also does have high school curriculum that is no longer chronological. It's more going to be in the traditional um, subject matter science curriculum that you're used to seeing for high school students. But as far as elementary and middle, I'm really loving the options that we have with this Science Through History program. Okay, so let's talk about some of the reasons why this might be a good fit for you, using Berean Builders with your elementary, junior high students. One reason is if you just love seeing the connections between subjects and you don't like the idea of having, you know, a dozen subjects that you're teaching your kids that aren't connected together at all, I think this would be a great fit for you. Because it's chronological, you wouldn't even have to use an entire curriculum. Uh, we are not using this entire book this year. We're focusing on the chapters that correlate with what we're studying in history. And then we will get to some of the middle age, uh, middle ages scientists next year. So I'm really using it as, in this very um, organic, very specific way that works for our family. Um, of course, you could totally use the whole book, the whole textbook in a year, and that would be great as well. Um, but if you are one of those families that likes interest-led learning even, and you think, well, I don't really want to do the same science all year long. I want to be able to focus on this particular part of science while we're studying this time period in history. This would be a great option for you. This is also a really good option if you're looking for a faith-based approach, a Christian perspective on science. If you want something that's hands-on but isn't overwhelming, isn't going to be a big mess or require lots of work from mom to run a whole bunch of experiments, this is the curriculum for you. This is also a really great option if you're wanting to combine multiple ages in your homeschool. I'm always looking for things that can be customized for younger and older students. And I think that the Science Through History series from Berean Builders is perfect for that purpose. Now, there are some reasons why this might not be a good fit for you. I mean, obviously, if you're not looking for a Christian worldview curriculum, then I, it probably is not going to be the best option for you. Um, but also, if you really have a, a kid that likes to deep dive into one particular topic, um, and that's just the way their brain works, or that's something that you guys thrive on as a family, this is probably not going to be best for you. The very thing that is a strength for me and my family, that we get to explore lots of different topics through the course of the year, might not work for you if you prefer deep diving everything there is to know about, you know, fish for a year or whatever the topic may be. So you can look and see some samples of the curriculum on the Berean Builders website. And I'm happy to answer any questions you might have as well about our experience or some of the topics covered in this particular book if you leave any questions or comments down below. I don't think you have to coordinate this science curriculum with your history studies, but it seems to make the most sense to me. This history curriculum is designed to be chronological, so you could just do the science chronologically 
even if your history is not taking a chronological approach. But I do think it makes most sense to coordinate your science history, uh, your science studies with your history studies um, if you're doing one or both of them chronologically. So who would love this? If you are a classical educator, a Charlotte Mason educator, a unit study educator, someone who loves seeing connections between subjects, and you just want your science and your history to work together, I think this would be the perfect homeschool science curriculum for you. You can find it at bereanbuilders.com. They also have a free download there of some science root words that you can study and learn with your kids. That's a really great resource. Whether you use Berean Builders or not, I encourage you to go to their website, which I will put below in the show notes as well. Um, click through, get that free resource. That will be a wonderful help for you, regardless of which homeschool science curriculum you choose. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe here to Humility and Doxology. Let me know what other content you would like to see. I'm also going to put in the description some of my resources for textbook free history, some ideas for a science and history combination study, as well as my interview with the author of the Berean Builders curriculum, Dr. Jay Weil. I encourage you to check out those resources as well.